Uh, I don't know if you know this, but America, America is currently in a failed war. No, not Iraq. No, not Afghanistan. Remember, we surged. We totally surged, and then things got better, right? No, not Libya, because, I mean, that's not, that's not even really a war. We're, we're just over there, like, chilling and shit. Like, with guns. But, like, we're just chilling. We're just chilling. No, the war that I'm talking about is the war on drugs. Do you even remember the war on drugs? You know, that thing we've been doing for the past, like, 40 years, and we spent, like, one trillion dollars on? <laughs> that. Now, admittedly, there weren't nearly as many explosions in this particular war as those other ones that I was talking about, but come on, man, some shit got decimated, son. Like communities of color that get incarcerated 10 times the rate as whites, although whites use drugs at a higher rate than said communities of color. I'm sure that's an honest mistake. I mean, America would never just want to throw people of color in jail for no apparent reason. Come on, that's just, that's just crazy talk. The failed war on drugs has seen horrible consequences, you know? Lives ruined, communities destroyed, Willie Nelson. Did you know that the American Industrial Prison Complex houses 25% of the world's incarcerated population, although America is only 5% of the entire population? Yes, American exceptionalism, ha <laughs> ha! Wait, wait, wait. Out of 2.3 million people in prison in America, almost 600,000 of them are in there as drug offenders. Listen, I get it. Some people in government don't really care about what the war on drugs is doing to people of color, the tremendous amount of money that it's wasting, or the fact that Americans are changing their opinions about drugs in general. 75% of 2012 voters in California don't believe that marijuana should be a felony. At best, it should be a misdemeanor. Now, admittedly, some of these voters probably just got back from the medical marijuana dispensary, you know? But they still vote. They still, they still vote, okay? I mean, they, they might need a cheeseburger afterwards, but they're gonna, they're gonna fucking vote. And I get it, it's hard to change people's minds. Maybe we need to throw something else out there, you know, besides like the money saved and the people that would be helped via treatment instead of felony charges. The resources that could be put towards real crime as opposed to catching the kid with the dime bag. Maybe America could get behind an approach that like produces, you know, like tangible results. Not all this other crap that I've been talking about, like real results. How about another season of the HBO hit series, The Wire? Recently, Attorney General Eric Holder requested that the makers of The Wire bring back the show for at least a season or some sort of movie or something. It was a great fucking show. And the creator of this critically acclaimed series has agreed to help Holder out. He will bring out a new season of The Wire all the Justice Department has to do is call off the failed war on drugs. See, people are listening now, you know, like, lives destroyed for simple possession? Ah, forget that. Bringing back The Wire? Now we're talking. Come on, just think about it, okay? The best television show to ever be put on TV can come back. All we have to do is stop wasting money on a failed war that even the Global Commission on Drug Policy has said has failed. Come on, we can get Omar back. That would be awesome. Wait, didn't, didn't Omar die? Fuck it, we can have zombie Omar. Let's be real here. The drug war has failed, okay? Not only did it not stop drugs from coming into the communities, it actually hurt communities across the country, okay? It hurt my community. I grew up in Bed-Stuy in the middle of the crack epidemic. And instead of treating the problem, the drug war just destroyed the lives of friends and family members of mine. People want to talk about American exceptionalism, you know? You know one of the traits of exceptionalism? Admitting when you're wrong. The failed war on drugs has to stop, okay? I need, no, no, better yet, I, I demand, I demand a new season of The Wire. I mean, come on, man, that last episode was fucking depressing as shit, okay? I need closure. Do it for the premium cable subscribers across the country, okay? I. I mean, also do it for your, your fellow human beings, but for the premium cable subscribers, come on, it has to happen. The line must be drawn here. Want to stop this stupid war on drugs? Go to aclu.org forward slash just say no. Become a member of the ACLU and join the fight for a reasonable drug policy in America.